Explore self-service provisioning with Red Hat Developer Hub. Learn how to scale platform engineers to accelerate software development by bringing application capabilities and resources to end users. Let's get started. Platform engineering removes friction for everyone in the IT organization, creates differentiation and addresses the end user needs. The self-service approach is critical to scale of operational knowledge and platform engineering best practices to boost developer productivity. Red Hat Developer Hub is a developer portal that brings operations and platform engineers' knowledge to end users in a self-service approach. It provides many functionalities, from learning paths, tech radar, technical documentation, and the availability to build new components on top of OpenShift. The Create displays software templates to create new services and application capabilities. Software templates provide the flexibility to build components using best practices based on an organization's guardrails. Software templates enable end users access to build and deploy applications easily. And many other resources. Let's explore how Red Hat Developer Hub provides end users easy access to build and deploy applications. By selecting the category service to explore the application archetypes available. Different application archetypes will be available based on your organization's needs, such as backend, frontend, or AI applications. End users can also self-service to create a new virtual machine or create a new OpenShift project, or set up application capabilities. Straight to developers' needs with a click of a button. Explore self-service provisioning with Red Hat Developer Hub. This solution will explore how to self-services virtual machines with OpenShift virtualization to end users. Let's get started. Red Hat Developer Hub is a developer portal that enables teams to work efficiently and seamlessly. Let's select the category VM. Let's explore the VM's catalog available in this solution. Developers and end users can easily self-provision a virtual machine according to the organization setup. OpenShift Virtualization is an add-on to OpenShift that allows you to run and manage virtual machine workloads alongside container workloads. Let's choose RHEL 9 VM Medium. Developers can choose the predefined environments where the VM will be created. Let's select the QA environment. With only one screen, a developer can provision a virtual machine. Let's click on Review to continue. Let's create an instance of a virtual machine in Red Hat OpenShift. The VM is being created by Red Hat Developer Hub using the power of GitOps with Argo CD and OpenShift virtualization. Let's explore the logs. Now, let's review the component in Catalog. Let's take a moment to review the component overview. The link sections and components information are customizable. Now we can access the virtual machine. Let's take a moment to review the Red Hat OpenShift web console. You are in the Virtual Machine Overview. Next, let's explore the VNC console.
Developers and end users can easily access self-service application capabilities, resources in a controlled environment with the guardrails defined by your organization. Explore self-service provisioning with Red Hat Developer Hub. This solution will explore how to create self-service environments, in this case, creating a new OpenShift project with guardrails. Let's get started. With Red Hat, Developer Hub developers can seamlessly innovate with guardrails safely by accessing what they need when they need it. Let's select the category project to explore the available projects. With Red Hat OpenShift and Red Hat Developer Hub, enabling easy access to new environments is easy. Now let's choose OpenShift project medium size. Developers can choose from the predefined projects. And developers can choose from the predefined environments. Next, let's select the dev environment. With just one click, you can create a namespace in OpenShift. The component is being created by Red Hat Developer Hub using the power of GitOps with Argo CD. A new OpenShift project has been created. End users can access the project details and resources in OpenShift and explore network policies in advanced cluster security for Kubernetes. Welcome to Red Hat OpenShift. You are now on the Red Hat OpenShift Container Platform web console. The project details shows key attributes such as project name and inventory. Let's go back to Red Hat Developer Hub. Let's explore the network graph view. Red Hat Advanced Cluster Security for Kubernetes equips you to build, deploy, and run cloud-native applications with more security. Let's log in as developer. This solution is integrated with Red Hat Single Sign-On. Red Hat Single Sign-On provides web single sign-on and identity federation based on SAML2, OpenID Connect, and OAuth2 specifications. Let's confirm the user credentials. The network graph provides visibility on the allowed network connections as defined by the Kubernetes network policies. The network graph helps developers quickly understand allowed connections within a namespace. Red Hat Developer Hub can integrate with ACS and ACM, taking advantage of Red Hat OpenShift Platform Plus to access new environments and security capabilities easily. Explore self-service provisioning with Red Hat Developer Hub. This solution will explore how to extend and enable application capabilities to end users. Let's get started. With Red Hat, Developer Hub developers can seamlessly innovate with guardrails safely by accessing what they need when they need it. With Red Hat OpenShift and Red Hat Developer Hub, enabling capabilities is easier and the user experience is unified across different platforms. Developers can configure and enable capabilities from OpenShift with just a click of a button. Let's click on Create to bring new application capabilities with software templates. Next, let's select the category Application Capabilities to explore different configurations available. You can enable distributed tracing, build a database, or configure service mesh. Let's explore how to enable distributed tracing with just one click. Let's choose Enabling Jaeger to set up distributed tracing on a namespace. Now it's time to create the component. With only one screen, distributed tracing will be set up. Developers can choose from the predefined environments. 
Let's select the dev environment. Namespace and name are pre-populated by default. Let's click on Review. The component is being created by Red Hat Developer Hub using the power of GitOps with Argo CD. Let's explore the component. Distributed tracing is now configured on the namespace. Now let's access the Jaeger UI. Next, let's explore how to build MongoDB Atlas. By choosing the MongoDB Atlas template. Next, let's select the dev environment. This solution showcases a unified user experience to build any new component. Let's confirm by clicking on Review. Clicking on Create. We have created a new database. We followed the same steps as when building distributed tracing. Let's explore the component. The component overview is customizable. Let's explore how to set up Service Mesh. Red Hat OpenShift Service Mesh provides a uniform way to connect, manage, and observe applications. By clicking on Choose, Next, let's select the dev environment. Namespace and name are pre-populated by default. Let's confirm by clicking on Review. And next, let's click on Create. The component overview is customizable. Additional links can be included on the Overview section Continue to explore self-service provisioning with Red Hat Developer Hub to scale operations and platform engineers to accelerate software development by bringing application capabilities.